What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in my path to power. Before we get into that, if you guys are looking to purchase some FIFA Ultimate Team coins, make sure to check out FUT Coin Emporium. They're cheap, quick, and reliable. Their link will be in the description down below. So we still have our kind of Greek-ish hybrid with Pepe and Carvajal and a little Syria. Fiorentina action over there on the left-hand side. And I came up against this team and... <sighs> Yeah, I took it away, and uh, this so this move is one that I do frequently, that I just saw him do right there, but I got screened, and it got crossed in, and he scored a goal, and I was, it was one of, boys, lads, fellas, it was one of those weird, weird days of FIFA, well, not a weird day of FIFA, it was just a bad, bad, and that is just a simple defensive mistake for me right there, I tried to bait out the goalkeeper as well, but Daniel Sturge is going to hit that shot 10 times out of 10, and he's going to suffer me through probably the most annoying celebration in the game, largely just because it goes on for so, so long, and... So that game, what did I learn from that? I learned, okay, my not-so-pacey team can't really compete with the strong, pacey BPL side, is basically what it was. I didn't feel like he was an outrageously good player, and I did have some chances. It's just his defense was too fast for my offense, and no matter, even if I tried to keep possession. And the 4 triple two actually, this year, and especially in head-to-head, -head, is a really, really good counter to a 4 one 2 one 2 So, uh, in Ultimate Team, though, it's just a different story. So I ended up coming up with this team. And I'll go through them and I was like, all right, I'm gonna use some OP players I heard that Bateson talk about as he as he says it I barbo even though I know it's e barbo, but we're not gonna get into pronunciations uh, And I decided you know what I'm gonna try out Robinho I remember when old Robin Ho had five-star skills and I want to give him a shower bringing back the informed Giuseppe Rossi and I'm also gonna be bringing in uh, Shinviko because I wanted to have a little bit of pace on my team, and I thought, all right, we're going to stick with a 4 triple 2 because I know it's a sound formation in head-to-head, -head, and I'm going to make it work for me in Ultimate Team. And at times, I think it probably is an okay formation in Ultimate Team, using the right players. But when you're, you know, I was talking to Dirty Mike um, for the Kick TV Invitational, and he was like, you know, FIFA this year, it's one of those things, you get a little bit of luck, you win a game. And that's kind of why FIFA competitively is really, really hard. And that guy managed to get a little bit of luck. Um, this is a nice, lovely pass. Though. It's just an even better finish from uh, the Bratters. And again, I felt like, hey, man, this guy, he was good, but I didn't feel like I was down 2-0. Um, I felt really uncomfortable with this Serie A team. Um, to be fair, I felt Javica really, really weak. I think I ended up changing up formations in this game. I can't remember what I switched it to, but finally, I get a little bit of luck. Takes a deflection, and Barbo breaking free. And for all the fuss about a Barbo, I'm only going to play one game with him. I think he's absolutely useless. Now, not useless in the sense that, oh my god, he's not going to score goals, because he can be very, he can be good for a very, very very sweaty style of play on Ultimate Team, but in general, since I'm on this, I just want play, like, and when I say this, I'm like, I, well, not joking, but I don't, I don't, I'm not quite sure what the right word is for it, but on this, uh, I just want to use players that I have fun with kick, and Barbo feels too clumsy with the ball at his feet, where you have to play so direct with him, you have to play, you know, LBA, LBY, or just cross it in, and then I think he's probably going to be really good, so I went back to a formation that I know and I love, the 4-3-3 false 9, I think it's a really fun formation, in fact, for me, it's, a ver it's probably one of the most enjoyable formations in the game, and that's largely due to the fact that I like to play play a Barca Bayern esque style. Now it's not directly the same, but it's got some similarities. So I went out and I picked up my man Carlos Tevez to play center forward for my side and Tevez I've generally hated in every other FIFA. It's because he's got just essentially super messed up work rates. He's always back in the midfield and playing him as a center forward in a false nine. I thought it would be pretty risky. I remember the days when El Sharawi was like 30k. He's down to 5k. Oh, foot market, please. It's impossible to trade. Well, not impossible to trade and make coins, but it's very, very difficult to do it nowadays unless you're trading with informs because informs, generally the older ones are still maybe going to go up in price a little bit. And that's because people 
you know, they burn out of the game. And when they burn out of the game, they don't necessarily sell everything in their club. And that means that they're more off the market. You know, if you're thinking about putting down FIFA for a little while, I go ahead and probably sell, unless it's like a pretty rare and form you think you're going to come back, I'd probably sell everything because your coins are going to be more valuable now than they are going to be. Well, coins are always going to be valuable, but your players are going to generally be more valuable now than they're going to be in the future. And to complete this side, I went out and I got none other than Gigi Buffon and uh, the big, the Italian Italian maestro between the uh, between the pipes in the back of the net. Well, not hopefully in the back of the net, but guarding the back of the net for my side will be Mr. Buffon. And this is the side we've got El Sharawi. I'm keeping the informed Borja Valero. I absolutely love this player on Ultimate Team. I'm not sure what it is about him. He doesn't have outrageous stats, but he is good. His regular card was good. His inform card is good. And so I really, really enjoy using him. Same with Benucci. Benucci's regular card, nothing really to write home about. Uh, but his inform is actually quite a nice player to play with. I'm using Nangolan as my other center mid. My right wing, I'm using Niang. And Niang's got four star skills. He's an interesting little player. Um, if he was a silver, he'd probably be considered one of the best, if not the best, silver cards in the game. Um, and this guy's team, I thought, oh, come on. But a 4-3-2-1 is generally a weak formation, and because I was having one of those days of FIFA, I was also browsing the internet and doing things like that while I was playing. So you can see I'm well, AFK, well, AFC, if you will, away from controller. Uh, and he runs free, and I was like, oh, God, Robin's really, really fast, isn't he? Robin is fast. But it went out, and I was like, all right, I got this. My corner defense has been all right of late. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> I was I was just kidding about that. So I'm down 1-0 and I put myself in a massive hole. And what's frustrating is that generally allowing someone to dribble through your entire defense off kickoff and get a free shot that results in a corner, it just doesn't happen to me that often. Lovely pass from uh, Chiellini. Oh, El Sharawi to Borja. Borja Valera. There it is. Tucking away a nice little chip. Give me some of that. That is fantastic play. And that's the kind of football that I like playing on FIFA. And that's what I kind of like seeing as well. You know, it's it's one goal. It's, you know, a few really nice passes pinged through and then you're sprung in behind the defense. I just think it looks so, so nice. It's not just the woo over the top or pew cross. And those are the noises. If you guys listen to closely on FIFA, those are the noises that you actually hear in the game. So just to straighten that out. But I got a corner in the 90th minute and you knew exactly it just wasn't my day. <laughs> yeah. How many times have you seen those 90th minute corners go in and you think, yes, I've finally done it. <laughs> but it wasn't to be the case. That was a little voice crack, I think. But it wasn't to be the case. And he manages a goal kick here. 116th minute. Second part of extra time. I get a little fortunate. Nangle, I'm going to pick it up. All the way over to El Sharawi. El Sharawi, Nangle, and posted up in that center forward spot. This is a killer pass in a 4-3-3 false nine. That pass in behind the defenders is just so good. Niang is a tidy little player out on the wing. Really, really enjoy using him even though he's non-rare even though he's 75 rated his ball control is good his shooting is fine and he's just fun to use anyways guys i'm gonna win this game two to one that is how this episode of my path to power is going to close out i want to thank you all for your support thank you guys very much for watching if you did enjoy it, a like a thumbs up so it was greatly appreciated my name is japes and i will catch you all next time